everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today I'm excited to talk about the 2022 Barletta Cabrio 20UC. This is a pretty cool model because in a 20 foot configuration, you know, we have the Ultra Lounger, which is a really popular feature with Barletta. Um, this boat also titles right at 20 feet, so if you have a lake restriction length limit, um, you, you're covered here. This is also a full tri-tune with 150 horsepower, so a lot of times, you know, competitive models or whatnot might have a quarter tube or something like that, and they only might have a 115 horsepower, but this particular boat's really set up as kind of your premium 20-foot boat, good performance with the 150 horsepower. Let's check it out. So I'm not going to get too, too deep into all the features of this boat, but you know, one thing I will encourage you to do, Barletta is known for standard features, and there's not a whole list of options that you can get because most everything is standard. Um, you know, and this, everything's really heavy duty, um, and you know, we'll just look at things like the docking lights are standard, um, you know, nice high fence panel railings um, are standard feature on this boat, stainless steel corner caps, pop-up stainless steel cleats, and obviously a nice little stainless steel uh, navigation light here. Um, so, so really a, a ton of standard features, uh, more so than the competition. The other thing is on a 20 foot boat, obviously you're limited for deck space. So, you know, they have this kind of very small, probably about an eight to 10 inch uh, front lip here, right on the front. So people can enter and exit the boat and have enough space to do that. But we don't waste that space. We have most of that space dialed into the interior. So as we move into the transom area of the uh, Cabrio 20 UC, uh, I'm not gonna get too much into construction here, but Barlett is known for being, you know, the, some of the heaviest, you know, beefiest, you know, construction on pontoons. It's one of the reasons why we can get this 20 foot boat rated for 150 horsepower. You know, they have heavy duty cross members. They use VIP technology to make the boat ride smooth and nice. Um, we'll notice down on the tri-tune, we've got a full length tri-tune here on the center. We also see that we have strakes, performance strakes on both sides of the center tube and the inside uh, of the outer tubes. And then a full uh, aluminum skin all the way up and down, you know, to protect the, the bottom of the boat to make sure it doesn't get spray and slow you down. Um, on the transom of this boat, uh, this is really, really cool on a 20 foot boat to be able to utilize this space in this way. Uh, so, you know, this is a very popular area for kids to jump on and off and, uh, you know, for people to board and, and onboard the boat. So a very, very usable big space back here, which is great for a 20 foot boat. The other thing we'll notice is we do have two rear facing speakers. You know, this is about the only 20 foot boat in the industry that I know that comes with six stereo speakers as standard, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, Barletta ski tow bar. Uh, great heavy duty stainless steel. It also kind of is not intruding too much on the deck so you can kind of walk around it easily. And a lot of people kind of use that as a grab handle as they're working their way around the transom area. We also see the direct fuel fuel tank um, so you can access it from either side, um, whether you're at the dock or whether you are at the gas pump on a trailer. Uh, we'll see the Mercury 150 horsepower engine, stainless steel prop, uh, obviously excellent performance on this boat with a 150. And then on the other side, we'll see the nice stainless steel heavy duty boarding ladder, stainless steel corner caps. And then this boat's uh, equipped with the blackout package, which has the, the black rubber rail, the black uh, uh, paneling on the side, and then the whole deal. So overall, just a, a ton of value here. So the Ultra Lounger from Barletta is a very, very popular uh, feature that they've had in their boats for, you know, since the beginning. Um, and the versatility of it's key. It's pretty cool on this 20 footer. We have a slightly modified version of it compared to some of the other models, but um, we have to compact it a little bit. So it's a little bit narrower on the 20 foot um, in order to fit it in here. Um, and this particular piece is actually also used on the 24 foot UE, which is the ultra entertainment model with the bar. So this is used in a couple different configurations where it makes sense. Uh, but let's take a look at it. It's really, really versatile seating configuration. So right now we have it set up um, kind of in a rear facing mode, uh, you know, to kind of watch the kids swim or do whatever on the back. We also can flip it forward, okay, to kind of have a full lounger going on the forward side. We actually can flip it all the way down to create like a sun pad effect. And we also notice the, the lighted cup holders with the RGB lights in this particular boat, which is included um, as an optional feature. Um, that light up in different colors and all that kind of fun stuff. But, and then in addition to that, we also have some extra seating uh, configuration versatility. We can kind of have it be sit, you know, more of a forward facing regular seat here. All right, we can do that on one side or both sides, um, depending on what you want. We 
also can kind of do the same effect here where we have a full rear facing lounger you know so if you wanted to kind of have your legs fully you know fully extended we can do that on one side or both sides or however you want so there's all kinds of different ways you can configure the seat you know depending on what's important to you but this is a super cool feature from Barletta very very popular and it's cool that they now have it available on the 20 foot model so the dash of this boat I really really like um, I'm always really impressed with the Barletta dash um, I've got plenty of leg room, you know, for me being 6'2", a little bit bigger guy. We've got a little GPS function here with the Lowrance. We've got a Hertz stereo that we talked about earlier with uh, six speakers and Bluetooth technology. Uh, phone holder along to the right. You know, your, your basic instrumentation uh, with some digital controls and information on the left-hand side of the gauge there. Um, a nice, comfortable uh, captain's chair. Uh, we've also got throttle control easily located off to the right. Um, another standard feature that you're going to find on Barletta, and I don't think I've ever seen it on a 20-foot boat, is the power bimini top. So those of you who either have a, a boat lift or something you have to deal with, or if you're trailering the boat, you know how easy it is or how hard it is at the end of the day to kind of put the bimini away. This one's just a, a flip of a switch and the bimini kind of collapses and engages on its own. So it's really, really cool that it's a power style top. Um, other things that um, I'll talk about, just little storage compartments. We've got a nice little glove box here underneath my foot great spot for keys or cell phone uh, to get it out of the way um, you know valuables that type of thing um, as we move over toward the uh, port side we've got the the, U, the UC configuration indicates the dual captain's chair so we've got the kind of the captain co-captain set up co-captain's got his own cell phone holder it's got his own USB charger um, we move forward a little bit to the uh, we, we see the the doggy dock view gate um, so you can actually see through the paneling of the boat, which is really cool. And as a driver, um, that, that panel is not only on the side there, but it's also on the front gate. And it allows me to see the dock a little bit easier without having to stand up and kind of look over the furniture, which is, which is cool. And then another feature that you'll find on Barletta's that again, just something that's standard that's just kind of a cool add-on is this kind of table here that is, uh, uh, more like a serving table type type deal. So if you're trying to serve some lunch or uh, some appetizers or whatever you want to do, you can flip that table up, and it's pretty cool that um, you know it's just easy and out of the way, and it's not really in the way of anything. So um, again, a cool feature there. Additional storage that we're going to find underneath where the ski locker is because we have a tri tune here. We've got a nice big ski locker. It's got a nice wide door to it. It's a good place to put your cover if you're not using it, or obviously skis, even wakeboards can fit in there because it has a nice wide door. Barletta's always known for their doggy dish here. This that came out right from the beginning, so dogs can get their water and food quick and easy, you know, without having to make too big of a mess inside the boat. So overall, great kind of middle cockpit, a lot of usable space here. So again, 20 foot pontoon, but they do a good job of really utilizing the space well. We, we do have a nicely sized bow area here uh, that you know can fit three people on each side sideways. You know, but also you know nice more of a premium feature here with the armrest. Um, you know, it's plenty big enough if I want to lay out and have you know my feet stretched out. That's not a problem either. Nice, heavily padded upholstery. Um, it's three tones in the color. This particular boat's got the tan configuration. Um, there's also a gray option that you'll see in other videos. Um, but you know the tans kind of gives it a little bit different look, which is really cool. Uh, so you know overall, just a you know nice nice stitching finish. You know piping. It's also vinyl. It's uh, wrapped with uh, upholstery down here as opposed to uh, just being you know bare uh, rotocast or plastic or something. Um, the other thing I always like to point out. It's just the little details on the fit and finish of the stitching on these boats. Heavy duty, um, uh, you know, everything's heavy duty as far as the structure. We also see that the storage compartments are completely separate and sealed from everything else. So if you get water inside the boat, it shouldn't get inside the compartments. Um, and then the other last couple things I'll talk about is that the speakers, you see the speaker box there is kind of covered and it's also kind of sealed up, so if you throw stuff in there, you're not having to worry about uh, you know hitting the speaker wire or anything like that. And, you know, obviously, there's storage underneath all these seats. 
in this particular seat here. We actually kind of have a trash receptacle, which is pretty cool. And then one thing they added new for 2022, this particular boat, we added a couple of the uh, portable cup holders, but there's actually, you know, this, this cup holder can actually slide in and out of this kind of space right here, which is pretty cool to kind of utilize that space in, in a better way. So overall, just a great value, great boat here. Uh, obviously with the 150 horsepower on a 20 footer, we're looking at excellent performance. Uh, you know, so for anybody on the 20 horsepower restricted lake or potentially you're looking for a nice premium pontoon but you just don't want anything that big, you know, the Barletta Cabrio uh, 20 UC is a great, great option. You know, for more information about this boat and other boats from Barletta on our website, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com, subscribe to our YouTube page where we post videos about Barletta and 14 other brands. So we appreciate all the feedback we get from all around the country on the video. So, Bottom line is, if you like this boat and you want to buy one, get with your local Barletta dealer, whether it be us or anywhere else around the country, and get one on order because they're hard to come by. Thanks again for watching.